Hello and welcome to the Regina Grand Prix. Yes, we have got a four round championship to see who will master the very, very slow large estate car. I say very slow. We are allowed to modify these in whatever way we see fit, hence why mine is orange, has neons and, um, well, supposedly drag tires. <laughs> even, even with the upgrades. Uh, it is not exactly going to be the world's fastest vehicle. Uh, we have a fairly decent starting spot for this first round. Hopefully can get a good uh, get away, maybe lead the opening, well maybe not lead the opening lap, who knows, who knows indeed, oh, it's a big stop on the brakes, oh, there's a very, very sideways yellow thing in the uh, rear view mirror, we'll dive across to uh, this side, and oh, on the brakes for this, oh, up ramp, there we go, look at that, neatly done, from, oh, everyone being pretty, oh, <laughs> everyone was being well behaved, it very quickly became everyone not being well behaved, further back. Uh, not going to be able to do anything down here. Reese is leading the way with the offensive blue car. Now you will see some of these vehicles with uh, luggage racks on the top. Some with just empty roof racks. Mine sadly does not have luggage. I would have put it with a luggage rack if I could have done. Uh, when you buy a car from the uh, from the online shop or whatever, I think it's random chance of it spawning with a uh, luggage rack and so on, which I did not, uh, the game did not feel fit to uh, give me, so we shall be racing uh, luggageless in this Grand Prix for better aerodynamics, I shall say. Oh, the Bumblebee has got a brilliant run there. Oh, I'm going to go wide around that tree. We're exploring a police station. Don't mind us. Don't mind the Regina Grand Prix. Just doing its thing around, <laughs> around here. There goes a whoop, traffic light and a lamp post. Got to watch out for that uh, debris going on. That's a really nasty place for a boost pad. Bumblebee's got fired of a building. Can he keep control of it? Well done. Almost. <laughs> Oh, someone behind has had a big off as well. Almost. That would have been an amazing corner had he not spun out. Oh, Reese has gone round big time there. Oh, don't end up in the construction site. Oh, these cars are surprisingly um, oversteery. There are surprising amounts of oversteer going on from these vehicles. Don't know how good the brakes are. I have got fully upgraded brakes in this. It's really weird. I very rarely, aside from stuff for the uh, street race career, I so rarely touch upgrades for cars in uh, GTA 5. And I think the only fully upgraded car I have in GTA 5 on Xbox is a Regina now. It's the, it's the only car. The only fully upgraded car is a Regina that I am currently, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it's oversteery and the brakes at least are better than the uh, slam van. Oi, kitten, get off of that. Sorry, my cat's being a pain again in the background. You're not supposed to be up there, right? I'm trying to drive. I'm trying to look. I'm trying to win a race with the Regina and uh, you're being a busy distraction. Sat on top of the scale electrics box. Hey, eh? okay. No. <laughs> cats. Oh, uh, lamppost. Well, almost distraction driving was okay until we found a lamp. That's all your fault, Cass. That is, that is all of your fault. I think about to see the fly. He might well be fly hunting. And, uh, yeah. Right, he's got off there now, so we are good for now, at least. Back to the racing. <laughs> Just random kitten interludes from time to time. They happen. Um, yeah. He's not ever... I think there was one... There might be one video. might have come out by now. I'm not sure when it's coming out. Where he will come wandering into my office. Meow. I don't think he's ever actually been recorded on microphone. Uh, well, he is a squeaky cat. He uh, does not tend to make... If, I, if I'm recording, he knows he's not going to get attention. So you don't tend to hear too much of him. He doesn't tend to come wandering in here meowing very often. Unless he doesn't realise I'm recording. Either way, that's lap two out of the way. On to the third one as the leaders go side by side into turn one. Which way are they going to go through here? Um, no real advantage to be gained going either way at the moment. Uh, and turn. Look at the... <laughs> <laughs> Look at the elegance that that was taken. That was some artwork right there as we all uh, swapped sides. and so, uh, That was so, so neatly done. Uh, oh, don't end up in that wall. Everybody has done very, very well to get away with that. I've got a big slipstream toe. Ooh, 
just about to the uh, rear quarter. Now it's going to be the red car's turn to get that slipstream tow. I'm going to back out of that as we get some big oversteer moment, or almost big oversteer moments. You have to be very, very careful with them. Got to be very careful with the brakes as well when you're in the uh, in the tow. Oi, kitten! Well, the cat's trying to escape out the window. That's uh, <laughs> not supposed to be up there, that's for sure. Um, normally, he's not a pain. Apparently, tonight, he has got a curious. And uh, that's not never so good. Well, it's cost me a couple of positions. I'm still in fifth. I will um, apologize to the car that uh, we ended up blocking in slightly. I thought it was a car we ended up blocking in slightly. I thought it was an orange car. Um, but he seems to have vanished away. Yeah, you can plane out there. You can meow away. You're still not supposed to be getting on the windowsill. Um, I digress. We're still, amazingly, in with a chance at this. Because the top three are very, very close together as we head on to the penultimate lap. They're going to go three wide <laughs> into turn one. Yep, you guys, you just, you just fight for the lead like that. And about three quarters later, I will hopefully be able to catch up. Doesn't really matter what side I go, because I should be clear of these lot as they turn uh, for the hairpin. And we are right back there. We are right back in the fight. Well, almost right back in the fight. Not quite, but uh, right I don't do any silly mistakes before the end of this lap, we should be good to join in. I've had all of the three leaders. I am the highest non-luggaged car. It's the highest non-luggaged Regina in the race. Apparently the additional uh, aerodynamics performance of not having luggage on the roof is uh, not not that much. Oh, we're wiggling around there from the slipstream. Avoid the traffic lights. Oh, God, not a very good job of getting a line through there anyway, but we are through cleanly just about as we're fighting still too wide uh, for that second place. The leader's starting to uh, get away. Also having the, I don't even know what colour to call that, kind of reddy, pinky, I think that one, second place might be more brown. Oh, second place has found a very, very solid lamppost uh, or whatever it was, telephone pole. Uh, careful, because we're going to get big oversteer around that corner. We're back up into third place. Well, the kid in distraction cost us a lap of time, but not really that much in terms of position. We're basically status quo as we were. Come on, slipstream train our way. onto the final lap we go. Across the boost. The boost pad there kind of actually scuppers any chance of getting a slipstream pass into turn one. It's an interesting way of working it. Uh, oh, this is going to be a mess. I should have gone the other side. I was expecting the red car too. As we go into the hairpin, nowhere to go. There's just, there is two cars spaced there. There is no other choice. The red car is to the lead. The pinky, greeny, murky. It's kind of like somebody's put all the paint together and that's the colour that's come out. That's the best way to uh, describe it. Is now in second, although might <laughs> stick his nose up the inside. Ah, I can't. There's, there's just nowhere to go at this point. I might be able to try and get a run. If I can get in the slipstream of the red car here, might be able to get a run on the outside because it's a relatively wide corner corner there. Yep, steal the slipstream, and I will take that. Thank you very much. I'm on two wheels. How did we do that? I don't know. I wasn't sure about going the other side. Is that The way I went was not the best racing line, but I wasn't sure about the checkpoint hitbox. I wasn't going to risk it on the final lap. Oh, I'm going to get put out wide. That's not good. That's not good at all for me, because I'm going to have to yield the position here. I've got no slipstream to help drag me around, although we'll cut back. We'll cut back to the inside. Oh, it's another. <laughs> the post has claimed another victim. Two victims in, uh, well, pretty much two laps. Unfortunately for me, I'm not going to be close. Unless the red car has a big mistake on the final corner, I am not going to be close enough to do anything about that uh, that victory, I am going to have to settle for a second place. There was a lot of cars rushing towards us. I think Bumblebee got third. The car that led for the first four laps has dropped down. Where did he feel? Finished fourth. Okay, could have been could have been worse. <laughs> Drop through the field. Uh, the, the car that we're following here is not in a happy shape. <laughs> that's not a that's not a happy Regina. <laughs> Look at the state of that. That's impressively broken. No wonder it's always a lap down. That's a very, very poorly car. A solid start. A solid start to the Regina Grand Prix. 
So, with a solid start to the championship, we move on to the second round. Hopefully, hopefully we can continue making some, uh, some, some decent progress in these races. I love how the amount betted on me seemed to change the odds of me winning. That's, uh, <laughs> well done game. Oh, bugger. <laughs> Oh, that sign junction's going to be a fun... It, it's, it's Regina Oval Racing. Regina NASCAR. I'm cool with that. Uh, I like Oval Racing. Oval Racing can actually be really good fun on, uh, on, on GTA. This is likely to be a interesting, interesting one. It doesn't look like we've got the same grid order for all of the races. Not really very random. Oh, bugger me. Uh, <laughs> Well, there goes all of the luck. There is... No, I was... I didn't know there was a car on the on the outside. I was trying to give the vehicles space because everybody was trying to fire up the inside, which wasn't going to work, but everyone was trying to put their cars there. Um, I should have checked to see if there was space to move to the outside, but uh, when everything happens so quickly, there's only so much that uh, that can be done. Not the uh, white car's fault particularly there. It would have been better to sit and fall in line, but never mind. Uh, now we have got the fun and games that is try and fit through this uh, signage thing. If we can get a good run. I mean, we, we've, we, we fell off. Go, go, go. No! Ah, we, we had fallen off. Oh, I can't get going again because, oh, well, someone just blinked their way through. Oh, I should have pushed my way forwards. No! Ah, that was a cacophony of stupid decisions there by me, and we're stuck. There are many angry words going on right now, at least to help Bumblebee get out. Uh, the problem is, once you get stuck in here, because these guys are so slow, it's really difficult to change your mind and get going again. This, this NASCAR is mean. This NASCAR is very mean indeed. We're in 15th place. The most important thing, in fact, in this championship is make sure that you finish the bloody race. As uh, if you DNF, you score no points. And in the playlist, you need all the points that you can get. Even if it's finishing 14th, make sure that you actually finish the race. You will have, I think it's 30 seconds when the uh, halfway point, I think what, 16 or 17 cars racing in this, 60? So an eighth place finish, I've got to be within 30 seconds of eighth place. Now I'm hoping to make my way up through the uh, the field here. Oh, and slide, slide, slide. Oh, lag is making this one fun. Might just about get myself over the wall in time. Yes, that's the ticket. You've got to judge. That's a really, it's a much better guessing game when there are less cars. <laughs> it's a much more fun guessing game when there are less cars. How my championship rival, the, the winner from race one is up in 10th. So championship rivals wise, this is very much a throw a spanner in the works and see who can A, get lucky and B, best deal with the scenario that, uh, that you are given. We are 30 seconds behind the leader. We're going to have a, a big slipstream <laughs> come behind. So we just kind of try and bump draft his way through. Yeah, I mean that works as well. I'm I'm okay with some bump drafting going on. Which side is gonna be down for the longest? Oh, they seems to have changed their sinkagings going on there. Oh, bugger, bugger, go, 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 go. Orange Regina. Mighty Orange Regina, head through that. Yeah, those signs seem to have changed the way that they're synced. Which is weird. <laughs> it's very strange. Um yeah. I have a sneaky suspicion lag probably won't play too nicely with all of this. We might have made some time on the leaders at one point, but I think we're going to have lost a fair amount, a fair amount in that messing around. Uh, I've got no one to slipstream off either. It, if we don't have a group of cars, you don't want to be in the big cluster, because the big cluster gets into a lot of trouble when it comes to that narrow section, but you want to have a car at least to slipstream off. A car to uh, to be around. Oh, we're not going to make that one. Which is going to come down first? Going to be this side. Uh, we're probably going to be able to go. Oh, oh, we made it through. I don't even know if we're all seeing the same thing with the signs. Quite frankly, at the moment, because uh, I thought it made a really poor decision. 
Why are you weaving? You want slipstream. Like, this is the way we're going to make make progress. Oh, <laughs> I am racing against the uh, current championship leader, uh, but we want slipstream because you want to slipstream train your way forward. Now, he can have slipstream. I'm not going to swerve. Well, I'm not going to say I'm not going to swerve about. We are coming up towards a uh, chicane. That's not a good place to try and get a pass done. Uh, oh, did it clip, clip the tire bundle. Yeah, you don't want to go too wide through there. You really don't want to try and fit too wide through there. You're much better off falling back into line. Oh, there's been a big close-up. I've made a bad decision there. Should have gone the other way. Right. It's fine. We're just going to back up a little bit. Get a run-up. Go. Nope, not going to get through there. So we'll sit and wait. Thank you for that one. Uh, we're not going to get through that bit there. So we will sit, wait, go, 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 go. That's the ticket. Right. We are through. Oh, the red car has made it through as well. Go on. Get the slipstream. Head forward. We'll catch up to that group there. Okay. Work together. <laughs> and, oh, someone's managed to explode. Uh, how have you exploded that? You can go to the inside. I'm fine with, I'm fine with that. It's teamwork. Teamwork our way up. We need the points. Okay, we need the points. We're not going to win this round, but we need the points. Any points that we can get. Plus, if any of the cars up ahead get stuck, fall over, uh, etc., we want to be there in the midst of the fight, able to uh, to profit from all of that up towards this next corner. Got to be mindful of the car's sudden snappy oversteer. Would be very easy to get into trouble. Uh, I think we're going to be better off going through this sign here. Oh, he went a little bit too soon. Nope, not going to make that. Oh, he is going to make that. Yeah, this slight lagging is uh, not ideal for... <laughs> that is a slight downside. It's an interesting concept, an interesting idea. Let down by lag, really. Yeah, I could perhaps be braver. I am tending to be a little bit cautious, working on the basis that if I wait... It's better than if you try and go bump into a wall, get stuck, get trouble. That's kind of the principle I'm working on in some some regards. How are we doing with uh, positioning-wise? We're playing it a little bit risky with the old finishing. We could do with being a little bit higher up with the mighty Regina. Uh, uh, there's no real way we can go through here nicely. Um, oh, well, you can just use the uh, magic of teleporting. Oh, we are across, though. And we've caught up to the group ahead a little bit. I think we've made good progress through all of that. I don't know when this updates to the leaders and, and so on. So e either way, we've made a little bit more made a little bit more progress. A top 10 might not be completely out of the question, but we need to get a good run through the gates. Good run. <laughs> Good run through the gates is critical to a uh, half-decent finishing position. I mean, it's, it's critical. Oh, someone's been unintentionally served off the track there. We've got a big slipstream boost all the way around the outside. Now, who is going to have uh, what options here? I'm going to back it off to try and get myself through, which we have done. And through the next one, yes! Cleanly does it into 11th place. I think one of the lagmobiles got his way through the gate slightly better than me, but I will take I will take a clean run. I will take another position. We've got cars to race with once more. Uh, do we go around the outside? Not going to fit this time. We'll go for a cutback, though, on the exit. Uh, can't do it. <laughs> Conventional overtaking. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for the wheelie. You okay? I didn't quite mean to get that much of a run on you. <laughs> I went to get a cutback, but I didn't really want to go for an aerial overtake. Aerial overtakes are not the way to uh, not the way to do things, in G not from that sort of angle, that sort of speed. And there's a lot of fumbling, rolling going on at this point in time. Through all of that, oh, that was lovely. That was absolutely perfect. We're up into seventh. I mean, we've gained 15 seconds on the leaders in two laps. We have really clawed this one back, although I shouldn't say that now because we've got another time to try and get through the horrible, the horrible gates of doom. We might, though. No, I'm not, I'm not even going to say it. I'm not even going to say it. We're, not, we're just going to focus on racing against this purple mobile, hope that it's not the blink car, which I think it might be, and <laughs> hope that it doesn't knock me off the track if we try and overtake it. Uh, I might even be content with not trying to overtake it conventionally and just try focus get through the gates in one piece. This is it. We are through there. I'm not going to be able to get through that side. So we wait. We wait. We go. We go. We're up into sixth place. I think we gained one position on the cars in there. I can't get past the purple mobile. I will take sixth though. After that start, I am more than happy to take sixth. 
Oh, that was a comeback and a half right there. I'm really, really pleased with that as a comeback. <laughs> I'm really pleased. The, uh, I say, my main, main championship rival uh, down in 11th place has finished the race, has got some all-important points. And I think a large majority of cars will finish here. God, dear. That was stressful. For an oval race, that was so, so stressful <laughs> trying to make sure that you just kept surviving and you kept going each lap around. That was hard work, but I'll take sixth. And I'm curious to see where I'm going to end up being overall in the, in the championship. At the halfway stage, I might be leading. Possibly. Possibly. Let's have a look. I don't know how some of the other cars did in the earlier the earlier event certainly we haven't had two um race wins with the same driver so let's go and have a look we've got to get through this screen first fastest lap was a 41.6 to uh, my 44.9 leading on a 42.8 i mean here fastest lap was all about appearing at the right place to get through the gates cleanly uh I'm hoping here we go championship table i currently lead it's a joint first place, though, and it is very, very close. Oh, I thought points went further down. Apparently, no. You only get points down to 10th or something. So, not only finishing the right year, you need to finish in the, uh, in the top few to be scoring some of those all-important points.